you know, as a team, we have so many things going on. There's so many ways to help us, but we just need a team of... All right, great. So let's talk about the A-plus players uh, meeting here. We're going to talk about why we want to be an A-plus player. But before we talk about uh, the definition of A-plus player and all that, I kind of want to ask you guys, uh, what would you guys think is my number one job at this agency here? It's a job that I take very seriously, and I just want you guys to guess what you guys think my job is here. Motivating. Motivate, yeah. That's definitely a big part of it. I want to help you guys, you know, win. And I think a lot of that is through mindset. You know, it all starts with our minds first. So um, that's a big part. That's another. Trying to get leads for us. Trying marketing. to get leads for you guys. Yeah, marketing. You know, um, I know you love the leads. <laughs> They're very important, you know, but to be able to do customer service, we need sales. But to do sales, we need leads. So that's kind of where it starts from. So that's really one of the most important jobs that I have is to kind of make sure uh, the phones ring and we have an opportunity here. That's a great one. What else? Learn so you can teach us. Yeah, coaching in, and training. Uh, training, yeah, training is very important too uh, because um, you know you could have all the motivation and you really want to do well, and then you can have the leads too. But if you didn't know the technical skills of how to do things, you know how to use the computer and how to explain things, then we wouldn't win either. You know, so yeah. You, yeah, man, I do a lot here, huh? <laughs> Give myself a lot of credit, but I want to really break it down into the most simplest, uh, simplest way of thinking about it is that my number one job is to uh, service the agency where the agency is successful. Okay, so that may sound a little bit, you know, um, selfish because it is my agency, but the reason I need to do that is because if the agency is unsuccessful or if the agency is not doing well, then what happens to all of us? Then so I look at my job is to make sure the agency is successful. And I, I also want to share with you guys that in a way, sometimes we look at our jobs, your guys' job, and think, okay, what's my job? I need to do customer service or I need to do sales. But in the big picture, we actually have the same exact job. Your guys' job is also to make the agency successful too. It's because if the agency is successful, then we, got, we, we all do better. Okay, so that's why I want to have this meeting because I want to talk to you guys about how to make our agency more successful. And I think I talked about it uh, in previous meetings, but I want to have an A-plus agency. And I think a lot of people in the industry consider us an A-plus agency, one of the top agencies in the nation. But we have to have a, more A-plus players, and we want to become basically A-plus players to be able to, you know, do that. Okay, so let's start off with the definition of A-plus players. Who wants to take a guess at what is considered an A-plus player? A person that shows up to work every day and gives it their all. They're here to learn, do everything they have to do. Yeah, someone who comes to show work every day, um, unless it's an emergency, and gives it their all and gives it the effort. I think that's a great definition. I want to just break it down simply. I think an A-plus player is also someone who makes the agency money. Okay, because again, that's what we're here to do, right? Uh, sometimes... We may think of A-plus player as a people who are really good at sales, but it's definitely not just that, okay? It's people who are helping the agency make money. Because sometimes those things don't show up in stance. Like yesterday we had a call we took and then this person um, was kind of frustrated and they, you know, Carrie took the call and we basically, you know, went over coverage. I think they removed uh, medical coverage and then we added uh, uninsured motors coverage. Uh, no, we added renter's policy. Right, and then we uh, updated the email address and all that stuff. That doesn't really show up in the stats. I mean, $100 on your renter's policy, but that literally went from somebody who could have canceled to somebody we saved. Okay, how else can you help this agency make more money? Provide good customer service? Yeah, provide good customer service is a big one. I think another one is helping others. Okay, you could be an A-plus player by just being there to help other people. Think positively or training on the technical side, you know, helping people train. Um, and I just want to just maybe show other ways. But so A plus player does not definitely mean you're just good at sales. Okay, there's a lot of different ways to help the agency make money, which is what we're here to do. So sometimes we look at the stats and we see, oh, these people are the A plus players. No, I think I consider anyone who's helping the agency make more money an A plus player because I got to be honest with you, you know, there's only two types of employees. There's ones that make you money and the ones that cost me money. There's really no break-even employees. You're either one or the other. Okay, so... 
Um, just to illustrate how our agency works. What is that? <laughs> My drawing skills are improving, so watch out. <laughs> so what's this? One point. Yes, that's right. Okay. <laughs> so this is more of a bowl. Think of it as something bigger than a cup. Okay. And then we have um, something that is... Oh, I hear water. Okay, so what is this? Uh, what, do, what do you guys uh, think this represents? Putting water in a cup. Uh, for, for, but for the agency, like, what is this? The clients. The clients, which also means we have more what? Money. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are clients or, 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 or money because basically the more clients we have, the more money we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's happening here? Your water, you're adding more. We're adding more water. Whose, water. Job, is, whose job is this? Ours. More specifically? The agents. Who are doing what? Yeah. Selling. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is the sales department here, okay? So you're adding more water here. Okay, so we're getting more water, which is getting our income level higher. Okay, and we all split this water, so it's very important that we have more water coming in. The only problem with this business here is that there is a what? There's a little bit of a leakage happening here, yeah. Water is coming out every day. Whose job is it to stop the leak? Everyone's. Everyone's, yeah. But what's that job duty called? Customer service. Customer service. So the customer service is always trying to stop that leak from happening. Okay. And right now, to be honest with you, I'm not really that happy with the, uh, the leakage right now because it's, it's, it's a little bit more than I'd like it to be because we're doing really well with getting the sales and we're really focused and we're looking at the stats. We're like, hey, we're doing good, like, you know, best month ever. But then we have a kind of a leakage that's happening right now. So stopping that is something that's going to help our water go up even higher. Okay, so that's kind of how the agency works. And then the water also, why it's so important for us to have A plus play players is because, you know, we have basically, if this is the water right here, we all get a piece of them. Okay, yeah, granted, some people make more money here than others because, you know, uh, based on production and things like that. But, you know, if we have more water, then this person is now making that much. You get it? Or some, sometimes people are not making that much, but then at least now it's getting bigger here. So we want to have more water, more sales, but we also want to have the customer service stop here because, you know, while I'm out of here, I didn't show this to the last group, but, you know, we all want to have our income go up, right? Mm -hmm. There's really no way you could do that if the company you're working for is just flatline. It's just not possible. You know, or if the company is going this way, there's no, no hell way you're going to be making more money at the company you're at. So my job is to make sure we're all going this way, so we're all going that way, the same direction. Okay? And to do that, we need more A-plus players because the way having an A-plus player it really helps is that because uh, it makes us more, makes more money. But one of the things I want to share with you guys is that the reason I'm, I'm so serious about you know, having a good group of uh, teammates here is because it keeps the, the real A-plus players happy, okay? Because the real A-plus player will be like, hey, how come that person's not doing their job? How come they're slacking off here? They get frustrated when they see that. Okay, I'll give you guys an example of the situation that's happening is Derek is in uh, club soccer. He's seven years old, and he's playing for this team. And they go to practice, and then I hear that during the practice, what they're doing is playing tag for more than half the time. Like playing tag? So I was like, oh, that's weird. And then I asked him, uh, how did that game go, you know, yesterday? He's like, oh, we lost 8-0. I was like, oh, what happened? Like, uh, the coach didn't even show up till the last five minutes. So one of the parents had to be a coach. I was like, what the heck? It's supposed to be a club. We're playing like thousands of dollars, and like he, he made it to this team, but then the teammates are not good, and the coach has no structure and stuff like that. So I was like, that's weird. So next week, I, I tell him, hey, how's soccer? I come to find out, oh, I tried out for this other team because all the better, team, better players are going to this other team. I made the team. I'm so happy on this team. Now the practices are intense. They're doing fundamentals. And then now when I, I feel part of this winning team, and now he's more motivated to be playing soccer again. So one of the things that's so important for us to have an A-plus team is to, so we keep our A-plus players happy. Okay, because if you're on a bad team, then you're not going to be motivated to do well. And, you know, I'm very appreciative and I, I very much value our real high performers. So it helps us keep everybody happy who wants to win. 
because I don't want to be a soccer player and then I, I'm playing my butt off and then we have somebody that's whack join our team. It's like, dude, you're not going to help us win here. <laughs> you know? And if you have keep on coaches bringing on all these, if the coach is not a, a, a winning player, the coach is not even showing up, then I'll be even like, okay, i got to think about not, you know, and I, to build our team, we have to have A-plus players happy, but then we can't have a bunch of non-A-plus players join because that's going to make the A-plus players maybe look elsewhere, which I don't want to have. Okay. To further cement that point, I want to draw something here. That's going to be the, what I was practicing in the morning, okay? <laughs> that Blanca saw me. <laughs> that's what you could do. Huh? That looks like a... A little donkey? <laughs> this is a majestic stallion. What? <laughs> I, I thought this would look more like powerful and fierce and just, it's like a, it's like a, it's just so muscular and it's just like huge and it's like, you know, those stallions that win like derbies and stuff like that, that you bet on and just like unbelievable, like, you know, they're fed and they're just high performing and they're just fast and strong. So we're stallions here, okay? Now if you're a stallion and you're running fast, then what happens when we have... What is that? I definitely don't want to be that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a turkey. Oh. You're right, you don't want to be that, okay? But if you're a bunch of stallions and you are turkey, you're going to be like, wow, like, I don't fit in here. I can't run with this group. You know, I'm not about that. These guys are freaking on the phones all the time. They're freaking talking money. They're talking about fitness. They're talking about gratitude and stuff like that. It's like, well, I don't fit here. This is what we are, stallions here, okay? We're going to be stallions. We're going to be unstoppable. We're, we're just... And then what's, what's great about having a group of stallions is it's going to attract other stallions to want to be on our team. They're like, wow, they're really about it. They're really making money. They're really doing well. I want to run with them. And it's going to deter the turkeys from not wanting to join our team. Okay, so that's why it's so important because, you know, as a team, we have so many things going on. There's so many ways to help us, but we just need a team of individuals that are very, you know, focused on building our team, okay? So let's go over, lastly, uh, some of the things that make us stallions or A-plus players. Or, well, that's kind of how we identify ourselves, and then we're going to be like, okay, this person is us or this person isn't us, okay? So that's what, who we want to bring in, and we're going to keep building our team that way. And we're going to have more water go up, and then we're going to have um, more money. Basically, that's what we're here to do. Okay, so let's go over some of these things real quick. Go around the room here. Let's start off with Linda. Like, what do you think is going to be make us A plus players here? What are the A plus players' characteristics, or how do you become an A plus player? Do you think? Making a sale. Yeah. Okay, A plus players are great at sell. Okay, they're great communicators. They're good at talking to people. They're good at closing the deals. And again, that's not everything to make you an A plus player. Okay, you could be an A plus player and your stats don't show anything. Okay, but if you help out, you, you contribute somehow, help, help us make us money. So if, if Laura sends you some, something and you gotta be on hold for the billing department for 30 minutes, you're thinking like, how am I contributing? You're helping because Laura is now being able to sell a policy. So that's helping us make money. Okay, so if you're, but if you're do, definitely good at sales, I mean, that's, you know, one of the major things that help us do that. So that's definitely one, okay. What about you, Carrie? Uh, be coachable. Coachable. I love that one. Thank you. I'm glad someone brought that up because I have noticed that, you know, when I've hired some turkeys, they think they, <laughs> <laughs> they, think they, they think they know it all, you know, or they get sensitive when I try to tell them how, how to do stuff. You know, it's like, hey, I'm just trying to help you. Like, they don't want to be coached, or they're maybe a little sensitive, they're a little insecure. So if I tell them something, they're like, oh, yeah. So coachability is a big one when it comes to being a stallion, where it's like, okay, I'm an A-plus player, but I know I could get better. You know, humility. Jess? Well, I don't have exactly the word, but I think an A-plus player is a person that just, uh, something important is that they, need, they want somebody that wants to be here and that wants the job is going to be an A-plus player because they're going to do whatever it takes that they're asked to do. You know, I think to summarize what you're trying to say, it's desire. They want to be here, so they want, they see, you know, other stallions like, oh, I want to be, I want to yeah. be running with them. Want to Sometimes it takes patient time, but I mean, eventually. I love it, Jazz, yeah. No matter how long it takes, if, it, if the desire is there, then it's just a matter of time. You know, so want, wanting to be a stallion is what, separates you, you know, because sometimes you can have the experience but don't have the desire. Mm -hmm. 
You know, so you could, it could go a lot of different ways. So having the desire is really where it starts. So, Maria? Uh, being like a team player. Team player, yeah. You know, I think that's so important. That's why some players look like they're A-plus players, but they're actually just sometimes just about their stats only. Okay, but that actually, yeah, you're helping a team, but you could further help out your team. Or sometimes, you know, not in this office, obviously, but in other sales organizations, there are some players that are really, really high in numbers, but then they're toxic to the rest of the team. You know, there's a lot of sales organizations like that. They kind of allow that. So it's like, well, this person is number one for the, the whole office, but then they're actually bringing everybody else down. So they're actually not even helping the, uh, the company as a whole. They look good on paper, but actually they're not helping the agency make money. Being a team player and caring about the whole team, that definitely makes you an A-plus player because for me, someone who's not having the sales, but they're a team player, they're, they're training other people, they're not even just you know technical side, but also motivation-wise too, like hey, you know, positivity, making people feel good about you know, this place and just like being a good team player, definitely that's a, a great uh, example of an A-plus player. From my experience, you just, get that with certain staff members is they have a genuine care of the place they're at. And certain people just really just care about their check. But then that short-term thinking is what makes their check not as good because if you have a big picture thinking, if you have ability to think like the owner, then they're gonna, your actions are gonna be to help out the whole team because you actually internally know that long-term that's gonna help you out. That is that definitely that's more valuable and the more valuable you are, the bigger your piece of the pie gets, really. So that's a great one. Just, just, just care, you know? I mean, some people just care about where they are, and some people just don't. Yi Chun? Um, someone who is responsible. Responsible? Okay, yeah. Yeah, just um, being on time, or not being on time, but being dependable. These are all, you know, characteristics of a responsible person. Uh, knowledgeable? Knowledgeable, yeah. One, because you share what you know with others, just helping everyone? Yeah. Yeah, you're just helping out the team because the insurance business is not just like, okay, we just sell this and it's just like this A is X amount. You know, it's not that simple, you know. There's a lot of things you got to learn, the coverages, you got to know the billing, and then you got to know the, all the products and the multi-policy discount percentage and this policy does this and this coverage, if you don't have it, does that. You know, there's a lot of things for us to learn. So being able to not only be just physically fit, but mentally you have to have the ability to retain information. I've really noticed that, that some people have a, 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 a easier time of retaining information and re remembering information and communicating that in an easy to understand way. So I think a lot of it, all you're talking about is, yeah, you can have everything, but you also need a skill. So knowledgeable slash skill is something that you need to have be to become an A-plus player. And that's where experience helps. Yeah, great, great one. All right, lastly, Jaylene. Um, for me, an A plus player would be someone that like owns up to their like mistakes because mm -hmm. we all are gonna make mistakes and we just gotta own up to it and like try to fix it. There you go. I love that one. I want to call that accountability. Okay, and that comes kind of comes down to humility too. Like, hey, you know, like even me, like I I always want to tell myself like I want to learn from what you guys. You know, I want to maybe learn how you guys have done things at your different positions. And then if I make a mistake, I'm always thinking like, oh man, maybe it was my fault that I didn't talk about ethics enough in the past. Or in the, in the future, I need to talk about this or if I need to be a little bit more stricter earlier. You know, you want to take accountability to every situation that you're in. You never want to put the blame on somebody else. So learning from your mistakes, being able to reflect, but don't dwell on it, but still be able to understand how you could get better and own up to it. You know, because a lot of people, they're just so insecure. They're just like, that's not my fault. Right away, and then there's no growth there because you're not changing yourself, you know. But when you say, oh, that's my fault, then you actually take the control back and you're like, okay, I could do this better this way. So that is the, the, the biggest part of growth is to actually accept the situation you're in is because of you and taking control of yourself, which gives you control of your future. Why didn't I get that sell? Oh, the client was cheap. No, nope. well, maybe I should have explained the coverage a little bit better. You know, so yeah, that's a really good list there, guys. I really like that. I also want to share with you guys what I also would want to leave you guys with is to become an A-plus player. Even though it's going to help out the team, the team's going to make more money, you're going to make more money too, but a lot of times to become an A-plus player, it's really about the love uh, and the self-respect you have for yourself. Okay, because if you really love yourself, you're going to be auditing almost everything. What am I watching? 
who am I listening to, who am I spending time with, what am I eating? Because you like value yourself so much, you know, what am I drinking? You're kind of like just treating your body and your mind so carefully because you love yourself so much. It's kind of a funny way to say it. But when you really, really care and respect yourself, you value yourself, that's going to lead to your actions being so much more carefully thought out. Okay, so I think that's where it starts for me. Is Because I could say all this stuff, but it really has, starts from, from within you guys. The more you love yourself, the more higher standards you have for yourself, the more you expect for your future to be like, that's kind of where it starts too. So I just want to share with you guys that. I just want us to be an unstoppable group of stallions, <laughs> not donkeys. <laughs> we definitely don't have any more turkeys here, thank God. Okay, so that's going to make us a better team. And we're going to be yeah, running towards the right direction. So really excited to have Carrie and Linda, Linda here. And I'm really thankful for all of you guys who got us agency to this point because you guys definitely have been A-plus players. Yeah. All right. That's it, guys. All right. Let's get it, guys.